welcome in Mark Payton, the right fielder for Texas. You were all over the field. Now you join us here in studio. When you look at those plays, what stands out? Do you, do you like throwing someone out or going yard? Uh, yeah, whatever hustle plays. So I like rather throw somebody out. And, uh, you know, that's the way we uh, kind of won that game. There's, uh, you know, we got some good defense, and that's what wins ball game. Well, you had a great sophomore year, and, and, you know, college baseball, it's so important that summer. A lot of guys will go to the Cape, maybe go out to California and, and find some place to work on their game. Where did you spend this summer? Uh, I went home and uh, – Home being Chicago. Home being Chicago, and you know, took some time off, and uh, you know, got after pretty hard in the weight room and the speed training. Um, you know, I think it's going to pay off other than going out and playing and uh, you know, beat myself up all summer. So you didn't play for a team. You're going to work on work on your own things individually. Yeah, uh, that's all I did. You know, I hit with my dad, who uh, he's always been a great leader to me, and it's my hero. So. Uh, you know, it's good being around the family, you know, especially when I can't go home that much. Yeah, and you're so far away. So you're back in Chicago. What's what's the best thing you, you ate all summer? It's a good, good food. Some, uh, some Giordano's pizza. Oh. Some deep dish. Deep dish. So. You still feeling that right now, a couple months <laughs> later? <laughs> I wish I was, but, uh, you know, we're working pretty hard in the weight room right now, and it's, it's you know, it's it's gone. Well, before we move on to Texas, you and I are both <clears throat> Cubs fans, uh, and that's not the easiest thing, especially this year. So, uh, did you get out to a Cubs game? Get out to Wrigley? Yeah, I went out to Wrigley a couple times, and then uh, I actually went to the cell and watched the Sox play the Cubs. Because you're a South Side guy who's a Cubs fan. It's weird, and I have to keep my mouth shut. But uh, <laughs> especially on the South Side, you know, you know, we have some fun with my friends about it, and uh, you know, it's it's always fun going to friendly confines or going to watch a game at the cell. Wherever you're yeah. going to watch a baseball game, and you're gonna have fun. Well, especially you, you live baseball and. Uh, new baseball coach for the Texas Longhorns, an assistant, Tommy Nicholson, who was a second baseman here. He comes over from Sacramento State to replace Tommy Harmon. He's going to be the infield coach, also teach hitting. What are your early impressions of Tommy Nicholson? You know, he's a high-energy guy. Um, you know, I'm you know, very fortunate to play for Coach Harmon for his last, you know, my last two years, and uh, he's definitely going to be missed. But, um, you know, we got a new team this year, and Co Coach Nicholson's already, you know, done a good job with hitting guys. And, um you know, it's, it, it's wonderful for me and the rest of the team because he's a high-energy guy, and I think that's the way we need to play, uh, especially with all the speed we have this year. Um, you know, it, and personally, you know, he's, he's, he's not the tallest guy. He's not, you know, not the strongest. So You relate to and, at least not being the tallest. Right, and he's a left-handed hitter, so, I mean, he's definitely going to help me out, and he's going to help out, you know, the rest of the team just as much as he does with me. Well, he raised the Sacramento State batting average 50 points in one year. Technically, he's doing something right. Has he started to teach you guys, whatever yeah, that is? We've uh, we've done some drills already that he's taught us, um, and it's just it's got to be a consistent basis where we're doing those drills day after, you know, day after day. And uh, it's just about getting better every day. And, you know, you, you, fix, you know, one swing better every day. And, you know, by season time, we're ready to roll. Well, last year, a lot of bad breaks for you guys. Cole Walla goes out early on. Walla was a guy his freshman year especially, hit over 300, can run, can play a really good center field in a big ballpark. How does Cole look right now? You know, he's, uh, he's definitely working his way back from surgery. And, uh, you know, we're excited to have him back. Uh, he's he's got to, you know, he wants to get back after. I mean, not playing a whole year, he's, uh, he's chomping at the bit. Now you being a right fielder and not being such a spacious ballpark at the dish, is that is that does it help to have a guy who can cover that much ground in center field? Help even more? Yeah, definitely because uh, you know positioning wise, uh, it definitely helps. You know, with our coaches positioning us and um, knowing a guy that's in center field can go both ways and go run down the ball. So. Uh, you're not worrying about you know having to cover the gap more. You can you can more focus on just see the ball and react to it. And um, you know uh, you know Taylor Self picked up and did a great job in place of Cole last year. And uh, that's kind of what we're gonna have this year is more speed in the outfield and you know around the whole field. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to play with. Well, the tradition of Texas baseball is all about pitching and defense. Pitching last year was actually pretty good when you look at the numbers and so many freshmen contributing. What's the staff gonna look like this year? Oh, uh, I mean we got we got some new new arms. Uh, got How some, do they look? You know what? They're going to be good. Okay. They're going to be very good, and it's going to be a young staff. I mean, we have a lot of guys returning that were freshmen that threw a lot last year, um, and those guys did a great job. And you know, we got the older guys, Thornhill, Knable, and and the rest of those guys that are, you know are working hard and you know teaching these young pitchers how the how you got to pitch in college compared to high school. So uh, it's great when you have you know you have leaders you know on you know in the outfield, you have leaders in the infield catching and pitchers to to teach these younger guys how to how to play at the college level and how to succeed. Who's going to have a breakout season this year? I think Jacob. Jacob, Jacob Feltz. Feltz. He had a big time he, summer. He had a great summer. I mean, he's the hardest worker I know. Um, you know, he'll stay at the park all night if he has to. And, you know, I have the most respect for him. Um, I mean, he'll never take a day off. And, uh, you know, we're excited to have him be on the plate again.
Well, we saw you hit leadoff a lot last year. You were a guy that Augie told me flat out, I, I can hit him anywhere. I could hit him third. I could even hit him fourth. Um, is there a spot that you really like? Do you like being a leadoff guy? Yeah, I do. I do like being a leadoff guy. I like knowing going up there, I'm going to get a fastball early in the count and, uh, you know, having to work with that. And But, you know, if, if that's not where I'm going to hit, then i got to, you know, change my game to uh, to where I'm, what, you know, what i got to do that day. So um, we'll see what it comes down to in the season and, you know, wherever he puts me is, uh, you know, where I'm going to be happy. Well, we saw it. You did so many things for this team. I mean, you do a lot of different things and you bring a lot of different, you know, variables with your game. Is there one thing that you really want to improve on this year? Uh, I want to, you know, swipe some more bags. Okay. Um, I really need to, you know, steal some more bases. Um, you know, I haven't got that many in my last two years, and, you know, that's the job as a leadoff hitter is to get the second base as fast as you can. So, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's what I'm going to work on this off season, and uh, I'm going to take some more bags this season. All right. I mean, you've said it, and uh, the team has said it. We didn't have the type of year we want or we expect here at the University of Texas. How is this year's team going to be different than last year's team? You know, so far, I mean, this atmosphere around the field, uh, our teams definitely came together pretty good already, you know, which is, is surprising, you know, three weeks into school. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of talent. We have talent every year. And, uh, you know, what, what we need to do this year, you know, come together as a team, and that's how we're going to win games. And uh, when you have guys all working towards and pushing towards one goal, and you know, getting better every day, that's what's gonna happen. You guys just started with school, you're gonna start practice here coming up. Has that started to happen? Are you guys, do you see it starting to form? Yeah, and more people are staying up at the field longer every day. And that's what I like seeing, and that's what I like being around, and that's what the rest of the team I feel like likes being around, is guys that wanna be up at the field, you know, until they get kicked out. So it's, it's fun to be around, and you know, we're excited, you know, for these two fall ball games we have, for you know, our inner squad games we're gonna play, and you know, just, just getting towards our goals. You can see those games right here on LHN. Mark, it's always fun to call your games and to watch your games. And thanks for coming in and talking a little baseball. No problem. Thank you for having me.